Welcome back again today, friends, where we are shopping super mega massive at Costco to see what's new at Costco and to get great deals for my crew. And also, we are going to go to what I have dubbed America's cheapest grocery store. That's right, Sharp Shopper. And we are going to stock up on loads of frugal finds there as well. And if you've seen my little adventure with my broken wrist situation, by the end of this video, I will give you a really good praise report and update, an updated picture on what's happening with that a little bit close to real time. So it's a beautiful day to walk into Costco. The sun is shining. The deals are singing. <laughs> we are going to find so many fun things here to look at at Costco. I like those warming gloves that they have. And I really like those packs of cozy socks. And now I'm thinking, oh man, I should have got a pack of those. But, and that's the little slippers there. And the cozy socks were in the container beside it. But for $9.99, your feet deserve that. I'm looking at all the different thermal clothing deals they have as well and tis the season for sure it is time to go to costco and get your fresh decorations and whatever you need also lots of great christmas gift ideas like those beautiful flowers there i was tempted i resisted we have a fresh gingerbread house there that lights up i always like to visit their Christmas Town and Tree Set, $79, but don't worry, you'd have it for many, many years. I also really liked their Glass Christmas Tree Set. There were five Christmas trees in there for $39.99. And I know I have some little boys that would love that dinosaur car carrier and these monster trucks. There's a nice stand-up desk that they have available at Costco right now. It's always good to have a nice stand-up desk. I know many of you have told me that you have a Ninja Foodie. So this Ninja Foodie Cooker Pro, possible Cooker Pro, looked very nice. And I liked the color of that. It says it replaces 14 different cooking appliances. So let us know if you are still liking your Ninja Foodie. I do like to look at all the different storage containers and the plates and the little sandwich holders. I liked these right here for $14.97 and you got three different little snack packs that you could use in packing lunches and such. They also had some lunch boxes available and I like those bamboo holders for your different storage bags. I do have a set of those. They are still hanging in there that's similar to what I have. It's a four set. And Costco never lets us down for having various water bottles and different, different cup and glass configurations. I just want to visit all the throw covers right now because when I'm filming it's 80, but then in two days it'll be back in the 50s. And it's just his the season. Look at that one, 10 feet wide. Snuggle, snuggle. Lots of nice sheet sets. And that was a nice fire pit barrel that they have. And then they had these really cute, it was like a personal little fire pit. So that might be fun on a table when it's chillier. I don't know. I definitely had never seen anything like that before. The best deal ever is the pumpkin pie at Costco. We're going to get two of them this evening. Well, these look delightful. Little caramel apple mini cakes. Got a whole bunch of them. And I'm stocking up on those rotisserie chickens because you can't beat the price. Also, we picked up a Costco special chicken pot pie. the last several times they're very helpful so it's grilled chicken and you get two bags and two bags are $9.99 and so I'm getting three of them so it'll be six bags total here's what we need a whole pallet of pumpkin pies right 
So I'm working on filling up this cart and I'm pushing this empty cart so far. And I can't film myself picking this up because I have to use my good hand that's holding my camera, but I'm gonna get five pounds of baby carrots for $3.99. Can you put that in the cart for me? Thank you. Oh, not the whole thing. We're just oh. one bag today. You gotta love the enthusiasm trying to put the whole case in the cart for mama. I have lived off a bunch of these Kevin's meals and I think this is good, $8.97. I think I've paid much more than that for these before. This is only two pounds though, but it's ready to go. Okay, let's see what their sweet potato situation is because we have just been rolling through those. So six and a half pounds for $6.99. I'm gonna get them while I'm here. I feel like this might be a week's worth of sweet potatoes, how it's going here lately. Nice big pumpkins for, they are $3.99 each. Good sizes. Okay, this is a good price on paper plates because I pay almost 20 bucks a thing at Walmart, but it's limit two, but we're gonna get our two. Now for my keto and low carb and trim healthy mama people, these are really, really good. So no limit. I'm gonna get a couple bags of those because they're wonderful convenience, no brainer right now. And that's a good price for their little personal pizzas. You get 12 for $8.99. And my gluten-free folks did report back that these gluten-free pizzas are the best gluten-free pizzas we have tried so far, and they've tried many. So I'm gonna get two boxes of these this time. So I'm telling myself that this week I'm getting back to at least easy slow cooker dinners, but I'm scared because I've said that many times, so I'm still getting emergency lasagnas. Okay, our vehicle's not very big that we brought, but we're, we're still got trying to jam up two carts. So we're gonna see if we can get two things of toilet paper under each cart. Hopefully we can get it home. Okay, we got it. I've been doing Walmart pickup order for toilet paper and not Costco these last couple months, and I forgot how many we could fit under a cart. And we've been professional store-bought waffle eaters, so that's $8.99 for a 72 count box. Okay, so I got two bags of the broccoli. It's $8.99. I actually like these. I don't remember these bags being $16.49 though. We just got a variety of, we got a party in Costco, excuse us, a variety of smoothie, veg, uh, veggies, yeah, fruits. Dinosaur nuggets might save our life one day. Okay, emergency, just dump some sauce on it, meatball time. We will get some hot dog buns to go with our hot dogs. Doing some Costco cart Tetris now. We got one cart there, and then we've got this other cart with bread dangling off of it. Really good price on the hot chocolate there. So it's 50 of the packs for $5.59. And here's the boxes, so I'm getting two. I don't know. That's not gonna be a month of hot chocolate, but we'll we'll try to make it through. And my Costco cart has been talking to me the whole time, but I have been getting so many requests. Would you believe we are out of green tea at my house? And I've gotten text messages and uh, messages by Carrier Pigeon to please get more green tea. So I have some of the, um, I love this, this blueberry granola cereal, and I have the chocolate version. This looks really yummy too. Seven Sundays. All right, so we're gonna stop at two carts this evening. We still need milk. There's still things we need. That's just gonna have to be a Walmart pickup order because this, this is all we can do tonight. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. This is also fine. There's no problems here. Everything's good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Okay, friends. Super exciting. It's a sharp shopper evening with one hand tied behind my back. Yes, it is. I don't know what they're going to have. I know we need all kinds of crazy yogurt deals in our life. So let's go see what sharp shoppers cooking up this week. Okay, sharp shopper. We're coming. The sound of our people. Okay, these are three for a dollar, so we're gonna get a case. So this is actually a really good deal on cat food. For our older cat, we get the wet food, and it's like $30 for 40 cans, and this is $14.99 for 36 cups. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting two of them. I'm not sure ounce-wise. These are 2.75 ounces six pounds total weight. Anyway, I'll analyze the ounces when I get home, but I think that's a good price. 
And so we're going to get 10 of these also. They're 69 cents. And he does not like the pate. No pate. But he likes these. That's the um, the meat and the gravy. It's, it's you know, friendly gets to pick what he wants in life. Okay, all the cat food math. So these, okay, that's pate. We'll get that. But these here are the ground meat. And they're 66 cents a can. So these organic corn chips are $1.49 a bag. So we're just getting a whole case. It's, um... Yeah, six in a case. But also, to balance out the organic corn chips, I got these little soup things for $2.99. I got two cases of those. Sorry, it's it's hard for me to hold my camera and shop at the same time, so we'll get through this. But I believe my one of my gluten-free kids had these gluten-free brownies from Sharp Shopper a few days ago at an event and loved them. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these, $1.49 a box. Okay, gluten-free thin pizza crust, $1.99, two ready to bake. Okay, well, we'll get, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold the camera with my broken wrist hand. I'm doing it, look at this. Put these in, gluten-free, try. Spent a lot at Costco for this, so I'm going to get more to put in the freezer. Okay, so lots of Chibani for three for a dollar. There's cases of blueberries for $3.99. These vanillas are $5.99 a case. And then down here we have 99 cents. Oh, orange cream mm, and the vanilla for $1.29. Bugles. I'm so tempted right now. We'll just visit. So I just got three big butternut squash and two big spaghetti squashes. This is all the other veggies that they have. I should get some zucchini and yellow squash too. I missed that. I believe I will. So we're also getting two green cabbage. I also got four or six packs of radishes and uh, some squash and yeah some zucchini and yellow squash. Okay, so they have strawberries for 99 cents a pack, and these are nice packs. So I'm gonna have my happy helper help me get a box together, and we'll get a box case of these. So we're gonna get four bunches of bananas. They got organic for 79 cents a pound, regular old bananas for 59 cents a pound. They said overripe for 39. I'm not seeing any overripe. I don't think those would count. They still have green, but that's okay checking in with our big favorite bag of Reese's. It's still here. We'll wave to it. Hello, Reese's. This aisle always has all the good stuff. Okay, shark gummies. Dinosaur gummies. Those get stuck in the teeth, though, so I'm not going to do that. Lots of Nutri-Grain bars. And then energy bars. Lots of granola bars. And we are out. I don't know what this amazing thing is, but look at that. Wow. Yum. So frozen chicken. Nuggets. The popcorn chicken was good last time. I did just hit Costco hard. But I am still open for more convenience foods. Oh, little sliders. How many? You get eight. Okay. Oh, that's a nice big Mediterranean rice. Okay, I got a put my camera down while I read this box. Okay, I bought the last four of these in the store, so come and get me, haha, -ha, but they're $3.99, and there's four individual pouches. We'll look at it when we get home. That looks great. Little Martha Stewart mac and cheese is good for $1.99. Okay, and then we got 
some Annie's mini pizza bagels. I don't think those are gluten free though. My gluten free folks really love the Annie's mac and cheese, the gluten free mac and cheese. Highly recommended. $1.99, that's 17 ounce pizza. Also, we're getting six of these DiGiorno pizzas because they're $4.99 and that's basically Walmart price a little cheaper. And we're here. So these aren't supposed to be in the freezer case, but they're 99 cents and they're gluten free in the barbecue, so I'm going to take them. to get this frozen grilled zucchini but I do have some fresh zucchini ish so I guess I will resist let's see if they only oh, have more the collie rice okay let me get 20 bags of this because that's a really good deal okay we have a, a situation if you've ever seen a woman or maybe you've never seen a woman hyperventilate over organic rice cauliflower blend with stir fry vegetables for 99 cents that's me yes okay so I found these barbecue gluten-free sweet potato chips crackers here and I'm just gonna get a whole case of them because worst case scenario they can be chicken food but if they're the best then they're totally the best and I don't want to miss this deal for my gluten-free folks all right so we did two full carts at sharp shopper tonight too so we are really stocking up and I'm proud of us. We got lots of great lots of great deals tonight. Can't wait to see what the total is. This cart's a lot greener, haha, -ha, than this cart. <laughs> but the Mediterranean rice is on top, so we'll focus on that. All right, so we're back from a big, super mega, massive Costco situation. Now, I will say my cashier did have some trouble with was having trouble with his uh, cash register there, ringing things up multiple times. But besides all the voiding on here, it's a nice, pretty big, long, super mega massive <laughs> receipt. We did it. We got the things at Costco. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you will see, yes, there is still convenience foods going down in my grocery shopping. But I'm also working on getting back to getting different meal components. I've been doing amazing things lately, like putting three to five pounds or so of sweet potatoes in the slow cooker in the morning and having those ready by lunchtime. Sorry, this receipt just goes on and on. I've been doing a little bit here and there. And so hopes and dreams coming up with my one good hand here, I want to work on having a week of easy slow cooker meals. Now obviously, this is more than a week's worth of food for my big crew here, but I did get some slow cooker meal components and then we'll just jump right in. Then I got lots of easy helpful things. So let's see what I got at Costco. So I got four of these already done rotisserie chickens. And again, I just keep saying it, my busted wrist arm has to be the pointing hand because my good hand is holding the camera. So we have four rotisserie chickens and this is some meals done. I don't wanna say how many, cause who knows? Everybody loves rotisserie chicken and for $4.99 already ready to go. You can't beat that. So we will probably start eating these tomorrow. And then another 
no-brainer easy mom meal is I got some of these hot dogs and of course I got some more chicken apple sausage and these can go in the slow cooker maybe two different slow cookers any any way I want to do my slow cookers anyway these can cook in the slow cookers and for to go with those very fancy hot dog buns mm-hmm you saw it here first so that will be an upcoming easy meal with some fruit as well so hey yay meals now these I like this real good brand um, and these are let's see I had their nuggets a few weeks ago we got them and these are the lightly breaded chicken strips and I got four bags of these if you're watching carbs with different meals if you're doing keto if you're doing low carb this is gluten-free grain-free um, these are good I like them so I like them with maybe some ranch and some Texas peat. I got four different bags of these, so that will be some good meals for those who need them. Also got some more of these Kevin's meals. So this was a really good price for the lemongrass chicken. And then these were a little pricier, but again, all four of these are several meals. I also got two hams. It's been a while since we had a ham and these are also easy to throw in the slow cooker and even my pickiest eaters really like this and they're gluten free and this was $2.29 a pound it looks like. So I got two of those. Then I just got a random bag of cheese ravioli um, let's see, I got two of them actually, and not all my kids know what that is, and that is fine because we can have some cheese ravioli with some sauce here coming up. I do have, I believe, two smaller bags of shrimp in my freezer, and so I got this bag. We like to cook that up with garlic and butter, um, and then I got one bag of the salmon burgers because that can be a sheet pan dinner. Now, we really like these. Now they, I feel like, let me see how, hold on here. I'm limited with how much I can do with that hand. I'm looking for the ounces. How many ounces are you? Okay, this is two pounds. Okay, so this is $9.99 and you get four pounds, but it's already cooked. These freeze well and I got three of these sets total. They're just, everybody likes them and they're helpful. Great for salads, great for wraps. Then to add for our breakfast options, I got a bag of the fully cooked pork sausage and a bag of the uh, fully cooked chicken sausage. Then these were a nice markdown price. I only got two boxes of them. They're very small, but just something to have in the freezer. It says microwave, oven, bake, or air fry. And then, like I mentioned, at Costco, these are gluten-free folks approved. I had got a box or two of these last time I went to Costco and they have eaten them and they like them and they say these are actually the best gluten-free pizzas that they've had. So that is good. Um, also big kid request was get more pistachios. So I got six pounds of pistachios total and then tis the season. I got a bag of mixed candy that I'll start letting the kids get into tomorrow. It was also requested that I get some more green tea because we were out and I've got several green tea fans so I got a box of green tea. Also got one pack of Oreos. Now I also have a Walmart grocery pickup order. It's about a $150 order and I have eight gallons of milk. I have gluten-free Oreos. I have another brand of gluten-free bread that my gluten-free folks prefer I don't I don't remember it's not the standard players in the gluten-free bread world but it's one a gluten-free friend of ours told us to try and they liked that one so I have that bread the Oreos cued me into saying that there's another little order also in that order is those Ezekiel bread English muffins that several of us like and yeah can't remember offhand what else is in there. There's a few other odds and ends in there that I could not get at Costco or Sharp Shopper this evening. Now, that was a very nice price on this Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate. 
I have, well, I feel like everybody every day is getting hot chocolate. So we will roll, roll through these quickly. Um, I like having egg whites for some of my THM e-meals that I do, and I haven't had any in a while. I mean, of course, I could do egg whites, but it's nice. When I need egg whites, just pour it out of a carton. So it was, let's get our toilet paper at Costco day. I had not bought toilet paper there in a while. I've been getting it in my weekly Walmart grocery pickup orders, but we made it fit. We got four packs. Also, that was a good deal, 16 and some change per pack for um, disposable plates there. So I got two of those. I went ahead and grabbed this gluten-free bread while I was at Costco because I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to find the other brand. I think we have two loaves of regular bread. And so I got four more. And then I got three packs for just a little over $3 each of hot dog buns so that when we have our hot dogs, we can be fancy and big enough hot dog buns. Oh, that was it for my gluten-free folks. Um, there's a brand of gluten-free hot dog buns. And that's in the Walmart order. Uh, then I got a variety of meat, uh, sandwich meat basically. So we've got turkey breast. I don't know if I can lift all of these. Let's see here. Let me juggle. Okay, I am cradling. No, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I think we can do this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, gluten free. And then we have some ham. And then we have some roast. I thought that was roast beef. Nope. Forest ham. Okay, well, lots of hams, ham varieties. So, I don't have any chicken. And you know, I was raising two batches of meat birds and I had to pass those on to some friends of mine when I had a lot of stuff go down and they butchered them and they are in their freezer. And so I bought 40 pounds of chicken breast and these are gonna be in various slow cooker meals coming up as well. I also got two what I call my emergency meatballs. I can dump into a slow cooker with barbecue sauce or marinara sauce, all kinds of sauces. So I got those, got four more of these lasagnas because we don't tell life when we need lasagna, life tells us when we need lasagna. Also got two boxes of the Dino Buddies. We'll just let that fall. And then down here I also, um, this was pretty pricey, but it looked good while I was there and I mean it's cheaper than a dinner out $22 for this chicken pot pie you know I can make them you know we can make extra for the freezer but since I can't right now this will be dinner with probably some steamed broccoli maybe some bread something and for as many people as I feed it's actually a cheap dinner then I got two of their pumpkin pies always the best deal in the world and I mean they'll go through one a day in two days <laughs> so we'll be done with the sweet potatoes I got six bags of the sweet potatoes I believe they're six and a half pounds each it was a just fine price and again my sweet potato folks are on a sweet potato kick and they even texted me while I was out don't forget sweet potatoes so loaded up on sweet potatoes also got 20 more pounds of the golden potatoes I got two cantaloupes then I got two big things of waffles um, lots of different frozen veggies I hadn't seen their big bags of broccoli now each bag here I got two of them has four smaller bags I got this organic veggie blend I got some organic cane sugar Four bags of Brussels sprouts. We'll do this with some olive oil, salt and pepper, maybe some other seasonings in the oven, do some sheet pan Brussels sprouts. Um, my helper that was with me picked out some different smoothie fruit that they need. So they got some strawberries, got this um, super smoothie blend, and then organic mixed fruit. Got a big bag of baby carrots. And how many pounds is this? Five pounds of mandarin. And then fruit-wise, these raspberries are just leaking all over, but there really are two packs of raspberries over here. I'm just gonna have to put those in a separate container. I got two containers of organic blueberries. Then we got, well, excuse me while this is not fruit, two more things of butter for the freezer, eight packs total. Um, I got two, I don't 
two packs of seedless green grapes, two packs of seedless red grapes, and then I got six English cucumbers. I believe that is everything I got at Costco. And so Toto was a big Costco haul. I think the other Costco hauls I've done have been about six or seven hundred dollars. And in addition to that, I've also been doing basically a weekly Walmart grocery pickup. I've been to John Henry once, but that was only for mums. I was hoping to maybe get there tomorrow, but I'm not sure that I will. So, you know, I'm a little extra slow right now. So our total for this Costco haul was $1,213.65. So that's what mama did at Costco this evening. Well, friends, I, I'm back from Sharp Shopper. Me and my favorite double broken wrist, haha. -ha. We got a lot of stuff at Sharp Shopper today. It's one of my biggest Sharp Shopper hauls that I've done in a while. So let's take a look and see everything I got. So we did hit the fruits and vegetables at Sharp Shopper. The squash and the zucchini, I believe it was 99 cents a pound. That sounds about right. And so I got four zucchini, four yellow squash. The strawberries were great. They were 99 cents. So I got a whole case of those. Um, you got to appreciate the grocery haul kids that helped set everything out for me because look they took it upon themselves to like do a little display for you guys isn't that great um so it's hard to see and it's hard for me to like pull things out even though i'm i mean i'm using this i'm my i'm using my little bendy fingers but i just have to be careful and i am still i guess giving you a hand update so i did this almost one week ago last sunday it's the following saturday my the day I did it, went to the ER, and the ER did this situation. Okay, let's talk about my wrist for a minute. Um, but I don't go to the orthopedic doctor until Monday, the day after tomorrow, because they wanted the swelling to go down. So hopefully it's okay. I'm using these fingers. They don't hurt. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get in trouble on Monday. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm just, like Kim says, I'm just trying to live my life. <laughs> so I got a whole case of those. Um, I love them all. This uh, chocolate pretzel nut for 99 cents. And then I got a whole case of the cashew sweet and salty nut, nut nature valley granola bars 99 cents a box these are those good thins gluten-free made with sweet potato barbecue flavor could be the best thing ever could be for the chickens i don't know but for 99 cents i got a whole case coming down here i got about six packs of radishes because you know i'm i'm trying to get back to cooking maybe but i know things like radishes I can roast those. That's my favorite way to have them or put them in the Instant Pot or slow cooker. Um, the best deal ever on rice cauliflower. So as long as they have this, I'm going to get 10 or 15 bags every time we go. And then they also had some organic rice cauliflower blend with stir fry vegetables for 99 cents. So I was trying not to hyperventilate because there's a couple of us that eat these with different proteins. And also for that same crew, look at this. So the Mediterranean style brown rice and quinoa, a blend of brown rice, white, red and white quinoa, kale, tomatoes, seasoned with garlic and herbs for $3.99. And there's four microwave pouches in there. So makes these bags the same price as those. And so this would be for uh, a THM email, if that's your thing. And then not talking about THM, we've got the best price ever on the Nutrigrain Apple Cinnamon Bars. They are $2.99. And then that's gluten-free chocolate chunk brownie mix. So I feel like I got two cases of it. I'm only seeing one. Oh, they're just smaller cases. Okay, so there's one case and there's the other. And there's a box for you to see. So we'll give that a try. Then we have these little cookie cups and then the no bites, um, I'm sorry, no bake bites cookie dough. I just have some kiddos that 
like these little easy Betty Crocker kits from Sharp Shopper. And then the yogurt deal. So I got a whole lot, a lot of the Greek yogurt in orange cream flavor and they will like that. And then I got a whole lot, a lot of the vanilla from Dannon. And then we're on a shrimp kick. This is some mama doesn't have to think shrimp scampi for $6.99. I got four of those. Um, it's 24 ounces per box. Also got some emergency uh, pepperoni pizza. $4.99, you know, cheaper than if we ordered it. Um, also, two spaghetti squashes, two cabbage, and three very nice looking butternut squash. I try to usually keep the fruits and veggies together in the haul, but there we go, coming on down the table. Then I, we, we try all the gluten-free things for my gluten-free folks. I only got two of them, but they're gluten-free thin pizza crust, worth a shot. Then, um, you know, try to make teens happy. We have some different cheese sauce, some jalapeno, and also some mild, and I got them a whole case of these organic white corn tortilla chips. They were $1.49, so I got a case with six there. Um, then Old Man Friendly, we're gonna try these. So I know the ones from Walmart end up being like 75 cents or so a can, but still, I believe when I did my math on these, these were 66 cents a can. So there you go, Friendly, we're gonna give those a go. Um, I have a lot of teenagers, okay? So these are $2.99 a case and I don't think they ever have had these before so there you go options when you have teens I just feel like a variety of options there we go um, and then I like these little shortcut um, chicken varieties so I got a couple bags of the Southwest chicken and these freeze great I got Italian style chicken and did I get another one maybe that was the only two the only two that I got. Um, and then I got two boxes of, um, these are gluten-free. It'd be like, well, beef sandwich steaks, what it says, and it's in nice little layers. And I also got the chicken breast. Um, the, and I also got the chicken breast. These fry up nice, and these can be, can you can have them with, I've done them with um, the cauliflower rice and such. So we don't actually have them on bread, you can but you can also just cook up the meat and have it with vegetables. Um, this, per request, let's see if I can flip it. Can we do it? It's going to flip. Anyway, that's turkey bologna. I got three of those. I got some bananas, and then some real life emergency throw them in the oven french fries, $2.99 each. We have not had sparkling ice in a long time. These were three for a dollar. So it was 48 total, why not for that price? We can have those for, I don't know, those might last a week. Uh, they, they, I didn't get these to, you know, last forever. They're already gone as we say. Also, uh, my kids just thought this was funny. I got um, the peanut butter and jelly that's already mixed together. I told them it's not as fun as you think it is, but still see this in life and so, I picked that up for them as well. So it was a really good haul, biggest Sharp Shopper haul I've done in a very long time. And mm, I don't know how long all this will last. How, how many teens and middle kids and little kids, how many people in a family does it take to go through all this? Well, oh, also <laughs> two big bags of hash browns for $3.99 each. So four pounds for $3.99. I would move that chicken, but my wrist and hand are getting tired now. So this is our super mega massive Sharp Shopper haul for today. All right, so I got my big long Sharp Shopper receipt for you and our total at Sharp Shopper was $405.10. That's still a whole lot of food. I mean, just amazing. Now, I did also spend a little over $1,200 at Costco. And what is today's date, days of the week? When I am filming this, um, we're still in October, we're almost in November. 
and in life right now, I need convenience foods, but again, I'm also trying to get back to having different components to actually do some cooking. It's a gentle entry into cooking, but I don't want to actually cook on my stove top. Kind of weirds me out having a wrap and gas, uh, a gas cook top. But the slow cooker, the instant pot, even doing some sheet pan meals, and then on days when I can't, we have our french fries, we have our steak and chicken, teenager lunch, who knows when. The, we don't tell the teenagers when they're having this for lunch, they tell us, right? Um, the pizza, the shrimp scampi, I don't know, but butternut squash, I was doing really good butternut squash soup last fall and last winter. I'd like to do that again. But the nice thing is the butternut squash and the cabbage and the spaghetti squash, they're very forgiving. And even if I had several weeks that I could not get to those, you know, I could keep thinking I'm going to get to them and it just not happen. And that's okay. They're, they're kind. It's not like the raspberries that like need to be gone in 24 hours. So thank you so much for shopping at Sharp Shopper with me this evening. And I will chat with you in those comments below and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye. Also, friends, I know many of you have been praying for me and following my journey with my certainly not planned broken wrist situation. It was on, I believe, my days of the week. I believe it was on October 24th. I believe it was on October 22nd. I was roller skating with my kids after two good hours of skating, and I take them skating weekly, usually this time of year when the weather starts to change. Anyway, I had a fall, and that ended up um, me in the emergency room that evening. And the emergency room wrapped my hand and my thumb up extra special. And by their x-rays on that evening, they said that the best they could tell is I had two broken bones and when I called my orthopedic doctor the next day to make my appointment, they said they could not see me for seven days because of the swelling. They needed me to just stay wrapped up and behave, and they, they would see me when they could, basically. So it ended up being eight days later, just the way that the next weekend fell. Seven days was on a Sunday, so they could see me on a Monday. Well, here's my praise the Lord. This is what I'm trying to get to. When I went to see my orthopedic doctor on October 20th and they took fresh x-rays, I only have one broken bone, not two. I do not need to have a surgery for my wrist, which when I shared I had a broken wrist, I've just had so many stories shared and I've been asked a lot on if I was going to need a surgery for that. And as of now, my orthopedic doctor said, no, I do not. Uh, but again, one boat broken bone, not two. Huge praise the Lord for that. I did not need a long time hard cast. They have me wearing this brace now, which has been such a blessing because I can use my fingers. <laughs> of course, my thumb, the way that my thumb was wrapped to be in that permanent thumbs up position for eight days. You know, it was, it was sore and tender a few extra days after the wrap, but currently I am able to use all the fingers on that hand. And my doctor said, I can, I can use my fingers and do what I need to do, but let pain be my guide. Obviously, if I started to feel any pain or anything in particular to pull back. And so I've been very gentle on myself, but I definitely wanted to give you an update, especially since I filmed these videos shopping at Costco and Sharp Shopper. And I also filmed a thrift store video. I filmed these all on October 28th and you are now getting them in November because would you believe I'm a little slow right now? <laughs> of course, understandably. So I do go back to my orthopedic doctor coming up on November 13th. They will be doing x-rays again just to make sure healing is on track and that somehow, you know, they hadn't missed anything. And so the plan is I will need to be in my brace for a total of six to eight weeks. And they said I will probably need hand therapy at the end, but it's just now not sounding as bad and um, just as sad, as bad and sad as it was for me the day that I fell while roller skating. And um, man, yeah, 
That was a sad day. So I'm thankful now, even in a brace, to have my fingers and uh, my fingers moving and just to be in a brace. So thank you so much for your prayers and your kind words and your thoughts for me as I've also been juggling, you know, this little extra adventure because that's what we needed. And I appreciate you watching this Costco haul and this Sharp Shopper haul. And I will see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye. Thank you.